So, uh, I will try my best to skip these saving things, but I forget in between each of these uh, first few levels. This doesn't happen often throughout the game, but there are usually little cutscenes. Uh, in this specific area, and I think it's actually here, or here or here, I forget, there are specific bigger areas for, like, uh, specific events and whatnot. Uh, so, uh, oh, here's an area. Attack and defeat all monsters using only items. Uh, yes, sometimes you will get specific items, like a uh, wrench or a uh, gun or something like that. So, yeah, just so you know that. And sometimes you get items, which I don't know, but that sounds like it's going to be the most fucking annoying to complete if you have to ever have to do those medals. Anyway, so, going to the next area, which I do kind of like. They got little pictures that show them being a little bit different, but it's not really much. Oh, hey, I thought there was another cutscene here. Okay. I guess Donnie does it in the next area. Because, like I said, the next time he talks to you, he's going to talk to you about upgrading your weapon, because, while well, the monsters get a little bit tougher. Ooh, another item. Repair powder, nice. Yeah, you get a lot of repair powder from these things as well, so... I love the, uh... I love the whole box things. At first, I thought they were really stupid, but all of a sudden, when I found out you can get good shit out of them, it's like, you know what? I, I'm fine with that. Okay. What the hell? This fucking sewer rat is OP. He guarding everything, motherfucker. You're like, he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Just being a dickhead. Oh, and we already got the, uh, the key handle already. Nice. Uh... I just, I want to do a little bit more exploring before I get out of here, so I don't really know what else to talk about. I really talked, I thought I was going to have a lot more to talk about here, and I wasn't going to have enough time to say it, but I kind of talked about most of it already. That was a weird physics thing there. More bombs, yay, god, we're being absorbed by the bombs. Don't worry, later on, I am going to show you guys a great trick to get money that involves bombs, and holy shit, I wish. There's a lot of stuff you really need to know. Like, this is one of those games where it's, it, you know, it's kind of good to talk to an expert before you actually, uh, you know, play this game. And, you know, I just realized something I need to talk about. Uh, I need to find an enemy real fast. I don't think... I'm not going to deal with these crates right now. I'll do them at, I'll do them another time. Oh, so do you see those little red orbs above the health bar that the enemy has? You'll notice that any time I hit an enemy, that will go away one or, twi one or two times. Uh-oh, running out of gun repair powder. Uh, you can exit this part of the dungeon and go back to Donnie's place to get more, uh... To get more, uh, repair powder and shit. Oop. Let's get this clown while he's down. Ah, damn it, I thought I guarded in time. Uh, those abs do run out, so get by them as quick- I think they run out anyway. But, uh... Oh, hey, oh, shit. Get away from me, you mother trucker. Okay, so do you see those orbs? You'll notice that they go away. God damn it. <laughs> that motherfucker strikes quick. I mean, I'm a lot better at this game, I promise. Okay, let's try the rat here. You'll notice that that goes away between every uh, attack. Sadly, I think I have my weapons too powerful. Oh, no, I can do it from here. You'll n Now, every time you hit an enemy... Oop, almost have it? Okay. You'll notice that right now he's glowing. He's in stamina form, which means he is more powerful than shit. I don't think it increases his defense. I think it only increases his attack. But... Basically, uh, you want to be able to defeat your enemies as fast as possible. The, w the little stamina thing is supposed to be there to prevent you from sitting in the back and trying to hit enemies with just ranged items. Because after they do that, um, well, I guess it really doesn't stop too much because it, it's just, you have to be able to attack them a lot. You have to be able to defeat them a lot faster because if not, they're going to get even stronger. So I, I think it's supposed to be like a balancing thing, possibly. I don't know. I, I like it, but I don't really know exactly what it's for besides just being a, just being a fun mechanic, I guess. That was also not in the first game. There isn't much here. I, I mean, if I have to say anything, I think the combat in Dark Cloud 2 is much better than Dark Cloud 1. I really love Dark Cloud 1. It's a great game. But you know what? I, I don't think the combat is really its strongest point. I think it's mostly its music and whatnot, which I will actually have to say, and I know people will hate me for this, I am not the greatest fan of the music in this game. But before we go into that, let's look at this thing. It is a question mark. When you run into it... It serves as a little glowy thing from the last Dark Cloud game, but instead of giving, instead of just being immediate, you kind of have to quote-unquote flip a coin here, though I'm sure this thing's predetermined. Oop. Luckily, we got the Angel. And we got full health. Well, that's great. Because usually if we run out, uh, sometimes if you get the Devil, I don't, I know it did it in the first game, I don't know if it does it in this game. Uh, sometimes it'll be like, oh, sorry, you lost all your abs points, and it's like, what? And uh, usually it breaks your weapons. That, I, that I've seen, I think it just breaks your weapons. Alrighty then. Oh, got our map here. Sweet. So yeah, the uh, the 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 coins usually break your weapons or whatnot. 
you'll get statuses. I think they'll even give you like a curse status or something. It's a it's a giant pain in the ass kind of thing. I mean, it's 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 a risk reward kind of thing. But I have to say, something that just increases my health, I think, is kind of bullshit, honestly. Because usually when I get that thing, I get the worst thing, and then when you get the angel one, so you'll see me skipping that a lot. I'll almost never use it unless I think it's fucking necessary. Oh, come on. He, like, he like backhanded me with that knife. That didn't even hit me. He didn't even, like, stab me. He just accidentally brisked my shoulder when he had his hand go backwards. Oop, destruction crystal. That does the smash uh, thing. We don't, haven't had that one yet. I can't wait to show you guys all the crystals. Some of them are kind of weird. Like, I don't get why there needs to be a difference between ice and scale. Honestly. I mean, I'm probably wrong about that, but I don't know. I, I can't say I've seen much of a difference. Kind of hard to kill these guys with just the wrench. You might have to if you do the challenges, but honestly, for the only use specific weapon kind of thing, I would honestly just do, okay, I'm going to come back later when I kick ass at this game, and I forgot to do that. And I didn't mean to do that is what I meant to say. So, yes. Okay, how's, how many apps points do we actually have now? Can we start upgrading stuff, I'd say? Ooh, we can already upgrade to the true battle wrench. Now then. I want to make something clear here. I tried doing this Let's Play in the past a thousand fucking times. And when I played this and I started upgrading my uh, weapon, I wanted to do as many- I wanted to get as many- many- uh, as I wanted to upgrade my weapon a lot before I actually truly upgraded it. Because every time- synth points are very easy at the beginning of an upgrade, and sometimes, um, you can- you should really work to get- level up your weapon more before you upgrade it. The issue is, is that I started putting all of my points, like I put so much flame into one of my weapons that it actually didn't register every flame that went on it. So uh, here's a hint for you guys. Level these things up as much as you can, such as synth points, and then when you have to build up, wait till you get like to the very least a level 5. Then when you get to a level 5, build up your weapon and then get all the way up to level 5 again, whether or not you can make the new weapon or not. It might sound weird here, but I'm tr I am promise me, it, it is a good investment to get to uh, get as many synth points as you can here. Especially at the beginning of the game. Oh, shit, didn't mean to do that. Actually, I don't think these can hurt you. No, they cannot. So, yeah, I know that's kind of weird, and again, many of you guys playing this might not understand stand it unless you've actually played the game. And, you know, some of you might play it, it might be a little confused, but... Trust me, this is the- this is possibly the best way to get stuff in this game, to get the synth points. Upgrade your weapon as much as possible, and so on and so forth. Also, something else, which I would say, is that um, right now the weapon that we have, the one that can build up into the true wrench, if we keep putting uh, points into the, uh, the not just attack power, but if we put the flame and smash, it will upgrade into a weapon that the, that the upgraded wrench, the one that we see right now, will upgrade into. So, uh, if you can take the shortest way to get there, take the shortest way to get there to get more synth- Oh, no, don't say over that. Uh, take the shortest way to get there if possible is what I'm trying to say. So if you know that, uh, like right now, uh, when I get the one above the wrench to upgrade, that will actually skip it. So, and we got a cutscene coming up here. That will actually skip the upgrade, the previous one, which might seem cool, but you want to be able to use it. And as I pressed on, heading deeper, for some reason, thoughts of you, mother, filled my head. And not the little boy for once. I don't remember your face now, Mother, even though I must have seen it so often when I was small. Poor Max. I hated that cutscene. My PlayStation 2 broke when I tried to do a previous Let's Play of this, and uh, the game, I would basically take forever to get my disc to run. That would happen, and then I would have to wait forever for the disc to catch back up with itself. For that little fucking cutscene, I was pissed. I had to get a new PlayStation 2 just for that reason. And that was a year ago, too. Yay. How's it going? Making progress? Yeah, looks like I made it to the next floor. The further in you go, the stronger the monsters are. Watch out. I will. To defeat the stronger monsters, you'll need to strengthen your weapons. If you don't take care of your weapons, you'll run into trouble on the next floor. If you want to know more about combat, select help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, be careful, whatever. So, yeah. Uh, I apologize if I'm being confusing about the weapon thing. I'm not explaining right now. I'm actually going to be uh, 
Okay, I need more uh, Smash and Beast. I was wrong, I thought I needed Flame. No, I need Smash and Beast, okay. Uh, I will gladly do three of these because this uh, specific area is filled with mostly beast monsters, so... Uh, yeah. Okay, synthesize. So I had three of those that I used. Put them in here. And... We are now at... Uh, we used three of those, and also we don't need any more beast. Though we do have smash, so let's use more smash. I don't know what smash specifically does in terms of upgrading, but I want to do it anyway. Right, and because we had four of those, we're gonna have three left now. Because of basic math, okay. So, but yeah, anyway, uh, when you, whenever you evolve into this one, this one can only evolve into this, this buildup. That is not always true. Weapons break off into many different patterns, and I have to go right down. I actually totally forgot. I need to go right down the list. You can go online and find out what specific weapons break into what. Uh, the same can be said for the gun as well. But like I said, I am not going to be using this gun. There is another better gun you can get uh, later in this game, which you can quote-unquote cheat on. So, uh... Cheat on getting. When I say cheat, I, I say it mildly. So, yeah. So anyway, yep, there is the... Again, the, like, the first kill. Like, I know in the very first one, it was like my third kill that did it. But seriously, though, that is insane. Well, since I got that far in the level... God, what part of the record? Jeez, we're already on 30 minutes. God damn. Tam of Flies. Uh, so I think after this specific level, if Donnie doesn't say anything about the upgrading then, it'll be after that one. If it's not that one, it'll be after that, that we get a specific cutscene in which I'm wanna, I do want to go back and do some training and stuff. Not before I go back and show you guys Donnie's stuff. So Actually, that was the exit. Um... There we go. I think I'm actually just gonna go on to the next level. Oh wait, no, got a new monster here. Gotta show that off. Okay. So here is this stupid motherfucker. This fucking turtle. He is a pain in the ass. See that spin thing? That is incredibly hard to fucking dodge. And using your gun on it is almost pointless. And if it comes after you, you have to guard most of the time. It, it is a pain in the ass. Holy fuck, fuck that fucking turtle. So anyway, since we've seen some new things, I do want to do a little bit more exploring. Okay, there's that turtle again. Not gonna deal with that. Again, usually I like to deal with getting my hands on, uh, more treasures and stuff, but because this is a Let's Play and, you know, the last, uh, Let's Play of Dark Cloud lasted quite a long time, I would like to try my best not to, uh, do that to you guys again. Speed it up a little bit, but I don't want to ignore anything. Oop! Here's another mechanic. We have the clown. Now, in the previous game, there would be a little box and a big box. In this game, it's just different colors. And honestly, that looks that looks more green to me than yellow. So, but anyway, you gotta pick a random box, so I will pick the red one. Okay, so that was good. I get myself some crystals. I don't really care about these. Since I'm gonna be upgrading my weapons myself, they're gonna be a little bit different. So anyway, here is the Night Stalker. He, 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 he or she, I don't really care. We'll either do a fireball or a spin attack. It's not really that hard of a monster to guard from. You just have to watch out when it fires. Uh, oh, fireballs, like that. <laughs> you gotta watch out for that shit. Come on, you motherfucker. Gotcha. Yeah, he's a little bit easier to defeat in... Or at least you gotta be careful. This game really makes you focus on dodging and stuff. Alright, so I think that was the last monster we gotta deal with now. So I will actually go complete this uh, specific stage. So, yep, speed that up a bit. And trust me, it's not always gonna be that way. Sometimes you're gonna get one... Uh, you're gonna get keys right away. Sometimes you gotta wait till the very last monster and then get confused and then realize, oh, wait, it's in the other room. I didn't check. No, I don't think I've ever run into a glitch in this game which made the key not appear. I had one time where the key appeared, but it phased through the bottom, so I wasn't able to collect it. That's only ever happened to me once in Dark Cloud and I caught it on video in my Dark Cloud 1 Let's Play. Not even Dark Cloud 2. Nope. This is the Channel Pump Room, guys, so, uh... I am actually finished here for this uh, specific episode. Again, I'm going to be doing up a lot of training in between just so I don't have to worry about showing you guys these specific, um... Because you can go back to every dungeon you go to. They're randomly generated again, so expect something different. But I want to do a lot of training off screen so that I can just go in, whip a, whip a dungeon's butt, and then get the fuck out. So, yeah. And I will do my best to level up max now that I got the chance to. Also, just like in Dark Cloud 1, the regular areas have items like these. Which, uh, the Fruit of Eden, like it has been in every game, or every game, there's only two Dark Cloud games. Just like the first one, it is a... 
it increases your maximum health. And something I never noticed before until I actually was uh, testing a Let's Play, or testing this Let's Play, was uh, these specific slides also have, uh, I don't know about this one, yeah. They also have areas over here. I don't know if boxes spawn. If they do, I will notice. I will pay attention now. Uh, sadly, I'm not going to be able to get all the boxes on screen because some of them are kind of a pain in the ass to get. Uh, in future levels, you're going to have to be worried on one specific area and make sure you try to get your box when you can or else it will disappear forever. doesn't happen always, but sometimes it does. So anyway, you can actually talk to Donnie here. Now first, we're going to talk about the shop. So now uh, he will charge us for the stuff that happens here. And here is the game's charging stuff. Uh, here, the, Here's the key that you can use for those force chests or the ones where you can guess the... Uh, what the trap is. Uh, we haven't run into that one yet, but there's that. We don't have enough money for it. It's very expensive. Uh, so we also have bread, poison stuff, and we have the uh, two different weapon stuff. I, I don't get why gun repair powder is more expensive than this one. Uh, it's it's kind of stupid to me, so I can't even buy two. Fuck me. Um, can I... How much do I need if I have two? 320, right? Yes. A little bit far away from that. I'm gonna sell- I would recommend selling these, but I need- I'm only doing this for this Let's Play and stuff. I'm probably gonna find more of these as I go through the dungeon, because I am gonna be training right after this video, because, you know what, when it comes to leveling up, I love grinding in video games. Don't ask why, I'm a masochist. But anyway, oh, wait, not done yet, one more thing I gotta do. No, not- not the chef, not the chef, go back. So there's- oh wait, no, I don't think we can do the scoops yet, can we? Go get me a scoop memo, will ya? Don't I have this? I think this is what this is. No, it's not. Okay. Actually, we can't do this thing yet, so I don't know why I tried to stop you guys. So we'll worry about that later. So anyway, I do hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, this specific uh, episode of Dark Cloud 2. Hopefully you watch on. Again, there's not going to be a lot of talking like that in future episodes, or at least uh, as the game goes on, it'll be less and less. So, yes. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed. I will catch you guys next time. This is Mike Jr. the Second, signing out.